Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Fish with Fishgistics here. So, wanted to bring you guys a Starlink update today. I know everybody's getting ready to go down to the Baja 1000, and Starlink just came out with a new change that's going to affect everyone that's using it at the race most likely. So, the new change is that now the in motion use is being regulated. What that means is if you have one of the normal dishes, the normal square dishes, the small ones, not the high performance ones, and you've modified it into one of the flat panel mounts that everybody has on top of their truck or on the race car, um, those have been working in motion no problem on your regular $150 plan, right? They're not going to work in motion anymore unless you do this. You can still use them in motion, but it's going to cost you a little bit more money. So if you're driving your chase truck down there and your internet stops working once you're moving, here's why. Let, let me show you guys what they did and how to fix it. And, uh, and you know, it's going to cost you a little bit more money. But the good news is they're still going to work. So you can see right here, this is what your app is going to look like when you're in motion now. Now, this is once it updates to the new firmware. A lot of people's hasn't updated yet. Some did this morning. Some did last night. It's going to happen. Okay, so when yours happens, I don't know specifically, but it's going to happen over the next couple days, maybe week, whatever, but pretty soon. You see right here how it says Starlink is offline and it's in motion. So that means that this plan is not set up right now to work in motion. And once you're moving over 10 miles an hour, it's no longer going to work. It's going to just kill it until you stop. Once you stop moving, it'll work again. But here's how you get it to work while you're in motion. Like I said, it's just going to cost you a little bit more money. So there's two ways to do it. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it on a desktop browser and then how to do it on your phone. So first of all, here's how to do it on your desktop browser. Go to starlink.com, log into your account. You're gonna see your account here. Go over to your Starlink that you want to choose and you're gonna click manage. Once you click manage, it's gonna bring you to this screen right here. Now on the left side, if you're not on one of the mobile priority plans yet, you're gonna to have to change to that. So I'm just going to show you guys, you can do change service plan here on the left. Now you can see I'm on the mobile regional plan, which is all you have to be on. It's the cheapest plan you can be on that has it work. So it's $150 a month. That's what I'm on right now. If you're on the standard one, it's not going to work. You do have to change to one of these. So I would suggest going to the mobile regional plan and it's $150 a month. You can also use the mobile priority plan which gives you 50 gigabytes of priority data, but it's $250 a month. Now, the reason why I don't suggest doing this is because you're going to pay $250 a month, no matter if you use that 50 gigabytes or not. And it's the same price doing it this other way. So you can do that if you want. It'll be $250 a month. But if you don't use that 50, you're going to end up paying more than you would have. So I would suggest going to the $150 mobile regional plan like I have. Now, once you're on that plan, you're going to see right here this data usage screen. This is just at the main screen when you log in. See this little slider right here for mobile priority? It says opt in to mo mobile priority data to enable network priority, ocean access, and here's the kicker, in motion connectivity. Now, they haven't been, um, they haven't been requiring this until this latest firmware update. So you have to have this on. All you do is you turn it on. It'll say you click it on, enable mobile priority. Data will automatically be charged at $2 per gigabyte until mobile priority is turned off. So I'm going to click enable. So now it's on on my account. Here's the kicker. You're paying $2 a gigabyte no matter if you're moving or not now. So keep that in mind. The whole time this slider is on, you're going to work in motion, but you're going to be paying $2 per gigabyte, no matter if you're moving or not. So if you're sitting at a pit or you're just stopped somewhere, you have it at your campsite, you're still paying $2 unless you turn this off. The good thing is you can turn this off and on. So if you know you're going to be camped out for a day or two and you're not going to be moving, maybe you're at the hotel or whatever, go back in your account and turn that off. There's no reason to pay for data when you're not moving. So just if you forget to turn it off, you're going to get charged. Now, just for example, you might say, well, how much, how much data am I going to use? Well, the only thing I can refer to is I had this with about 15 to 17 people using it back in April, at the end of April, on our trail admissions trip. We had everybody on it. It was working in motion. You can see for six days, we used 66 gigabytes of data. Okay, so that's how much data we used over six period, six day period with about 15 off road people using it. So not too bad, really, for for a week, basically, of using it. So that would have cost us about 120 bucks if it's $2 a gigabyte, right? 60, 60 gigs would be 120 bucks. So it's going to cost you a little bit. And if you go to the race, Baja 1000, you're using it for a week down there, depending on how many guys you have on it, 
uh, it'll cost you. It just depends how much data you use. I would not suggest having guys be, you know, streaming YouTube videos or uh, that type of stuff. That's going to use the most data. But just going on Instagram and Facebook and checking the tracker and everything, you're not going to use that much data. It's really not going to add up that fast. The good thing is you can always come on here and you can see how much data you've been using. So it is up to the date within about a day or so. So the next day you can log in and see how to use it. So that's all you have to do is turn that on or off right here. Uh, on your data usage. Now, here's how to do it. I'll show you guys how to do it if you're on your phone. Now, the only thing with the phone is you need to be uh, you need to be logged into your account. So you can see here's the phone app screen right here. Now, as long as you're the master user logged in, you can do this. So you're going to go on your phone and you're going to see. Uh, I'll play this video. You're going to click the top right, the little person thing. That's going to take you to your account. Once you're in your account, you can manage your subscription down on the bottom there. So if you click on manage subscription, it'll take you here. You can change your service plan right here. So if you're not on the mobile regional, you can change it here. You can see there's all the same plans right there. So you want to be on the mobile regional plan. Then if you go back, you can click on go back to the main screen in the app under the little person. You can click data usage right there at the bottom. Now click data usage and right there, there's your mobile priority slider once again. So you need to have that mobile priority slider turned on. Once you have that turned on, you can see right here, the mobile priority slider, turn that on. And the same thing, you're going to be paying $2 a gigabyte. The good thing is you can do it on the app. You just have to be the main user account logged in. So if a uh, chase crew is using it and they're not logged in, they can't turn this on and off. They're not going to have that option. It has to be under you, the main person using the app. So that's your, uh, that's your update. Starlink just got a little bit more expensive but we can still use it in motion. So good to know. The only thing is if you don't turn that on and you're down there and the guys are driving on the street or you have it on your race truck and you're trying to use it while it's in motion, it's not going to work until you turn that on. So $2 a gigabyte, go use mobile priority, change your service plan, make sure you're set up and uh, let's see what Elon does next. I mean, we can't really complain too much. What else are you going to do to have uh, in motion internet in the middle of nowhere, right? So it got a little bit more expensive, but the good news is at least it still works. And all of our dishes that we've modified, uh, we're not out of luck with the dishes just yet. So that's your update for today. Hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, as always, hit me up uh, like you guys always do. So um, make sure you tune in to Fishgistics during the Baja 1000. We'll be doing our hourly updates. And uh, we'll see you guys just in a couple weeks. Good luck down there.